Hello, my name is Jacob and I am a Norse pagan and it is 1013 at night and I'm going to wake up at 430 in the morning so I can drive about an hour to meet the sunrise on the cliffside overlooking the valley. Um, so I need to go to bed, um, but I'm going to be giving an offering to Frigg. Um, I will go into that tomorrow morning when I wake up and I will describe to you why I'm giving this offering, but it's really big and, and it's really important and personal to me. And this is what I'll be giving Frigg um, tomorrow. So I wanted to go and show you everything I'll be doing before I get there. I did manage to find aloe, so I'll be using that because it is going to be healing ritual. So I found some aloe. Um, I have some plums, um, some apples, and some lemons. And I'll be bringing some candles as well to set the mood. Um, but this is what I'm going to be giving tomorrow. So I'll be packing this up along with um, probably a couple other things. But yeah, I need to go to bed because, oh, I haven't woke up this early in so long. But it'll be worth it. Um, so I can't wait to see you tomorrow morning. And we'll begin this adventure um, to the mountains and um, give an offering to Frigg. So I will see you in the morning. So obviously, I'm going to focus on driving. Um, I'm on the straightest stretch of road for right now, which usually has absolutely no one on it. Um, so I can basically just focus on talking and also driving. Um, but I figure this is the best way to communicate. Um, I'm sorry if it's a little loud, um, but I, I wanted to make sure I use this time um, traveling to, uh, to kind of discuss um, why I'm coming out here, why I want to give to Frigg today. Um, why do I want to give to the All Mother? Um, and why am I doing it in such a obscene way? Uh, well, the reason I'm doing it in such an obscene way is because, I mean, honestly, I've always wanted to do this. There's this cliff face over here, and um, I've always wanted to see the sun rise at this cliff face because it overlooks a valley. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. I don't even know if I've had this cliff face in one of my videos before. Um, I mean, it is truly stunning, and it's always been a dream of mine. I mean, the sun is coming up, uh, but I have one hour, uh, a little bit less than an hour before it comes up. So hopefully that travel time, um, we'll cut back on that. And there's been some fog this morning, so I'm really hoping this is going to be pretty amazing. Um, but the reason I want to give to Frigg um, is to give thanks. Because I was thinking, you know, it's so hard for me to, not, to separate from Odin, to separate from being only, always giving to Odin. Um, and while Odin has taught me so much and guided me so much, I find myself thanking Frigg for all the things that have brought me, you know, just joy, all the things that have brought me some form of love, uh, just because whenever I think of Frigg, whenever I feel connected to her, I feel connected to love, and I feel connected to just warmth, and not even necessarily just, just romantic love, just, just love. Um, but today I'm thankful, and it is time that we talked about something, or someone, that deserves recognition and credit. Now, she'll remain nameless, because I think she prefers to remain nameless. But, I could not have done this page without her. I could not have created the wisdom of Odin. I could have not learned so much. I mean, she's really been a mentor figure to me. Um, and she lives all the way in Russia. Um, I met her very early in my Instagramming world. I mean, she, I think I met her maybe a month after I started the wisdom of Odin. Um, so I wasn't even big by any means. I mean, I was still celebrating the 100 followers and 200 followers. Um, and I don't even know who messaged who first. I don't even know who made the first connection. Um, but I, I think one of the things that has helped me out is the fact that I love Russian literature. I love Dostoevsky. 
I love, um, you know, rock mining of, you know, for music. So I was able to connect to her through that because she definitely does not trust easy. And I, I, I feel like through maybe just fate that we began to trust each other a lot. And it turns out that she is so incredibly knowledgeable in um, pre-Christian Scandinavian religion. She's a practitioner and she has like Russian village magic. Like she, she her family has it down their line where she was been taught by family members, um, not, you know, not immediate family members, um, but by family members in Russian, um, in Russian magic and Russian folklore. Um, and she would never want this video made, but she deserves it because I tell her all the time. I'm like, look, I couldn't, have, I told her I couldn't have done this without her. And, um, the reason for that is because she's been my teacher in magic and runes. Um, and she has an important lesson I need everyone to know. And if there's one thing that anyone picks up from her or from me, it's the sacredness of magic. So she taught me runes, um, how, you know, and how not to use them if you don't understand them. Um, because of course I was a person drawing in the Elder Futhark, writing, you know, basically bullshit in the Elder Futhark. Um, and, you know, making bind runes just willy nilly without purpose, without understanding. And she, for, <laughs> to use her words, smacked me with a wooden spoon um, and basically taught me. And, you know, and it's not always been, you know, a lovey dovey, you know, friendship. It's not been her always being like, you're doing so good. Like, she's been the one that smacks me upside the head and says, you're doing this wrong. You're messing this up. Why would you do it like this? You offend me. Uh, but in a good way, in a structuring way, and she's taught me the sacredness of the runes, but also the sacredness of magic, the sacredness of blood. Um, and that's one thing that I really want everyone to understand in this community is how sacred some of these things are. Um, I can have a really like, up, you know, like from this video, I mean, I can have a really upbeat and happy attitude towards things. Um, I want this faith to be fun. I want people to realize that it's fun. But also, there is a very serious side to this faith, and runes are part of that. Runes are part of the sacredness. Magic is part of the sacredness. Uh, blood is part of that sacredness. Like, yes, we use blood in our faith, but it's not necessarily something that we just willy-nilly really, really do. You don't just slice your finger open every time you need something. You have to understand the importance of blood and how it's used. Um, and, I mean, she's been practicing far longer than me and obviously has much more knowledge and experience from college, from education. But today I got some of the fruits. I got the uh, the aloe. Um, you know, I'm just. I want to give thanks to her. I want to thank the All Mother. I want to thank Frigg for everything that this woman has done for me and what she's going to do for the community for lifetimes to come. Because everything I know from magic and runes has come from her. One of my dreams is for her to eventually come to the hall to get her over here, and so she can uh, be in her little witch hut and yell at children for misusing the runes. Um, <laughs> um, and I hope I see that day come. Uh, but until then, I, I can't wait to learn more from her. Um, and I can't wait to pass her lessons on to other people. So if you have a moment in your day, um, you know, be thankful for the nameless um, magic users out there, the, the nameless pagans that have carried this faith. Because she's a symbol of, you know, this faith being carried on um, by something that's non-traditional. She said that I've given her hope for this future. She's given me these very... Some like very specific premonitions of the future to come, um, and you know, and she's been so excited to watch videos, so excited to see this faith grow, um, and she has hope. She didn't have hope before. She didn't have hope for this community. She didn't even really want a community, but now she's seeing that a community is possible, and that the old gods are returning in a good way, um, and it's so exciting for her to say that, to say, "Wow, this is going to happen," or "This might happen." Um, but I am so thankful for everything she taught me. So that is why today I'm traveling to this cliff face. I am watching the sun rise, a new day rise. And I'm going to give thanks to Frigg for meeting this person, for meeting this, this woman in Russia a world away that has taught me so much. But also to give this opportunity for me to talk about her and to let the community know that I could not have done this alone. And, to give, and for the community to give thanks to the old magic that survived the transitioning of worlds into this new one. So I'm going to focus on driving, not dying, and getting to this cliff face before the sunrise. I'm seeing
It's been a while since we talked, and it is often much easier for me to reach out to Odin, but today I needed to reach out to the mother. I needed to reach out to you so that I could give thanks, so that I could show how grateful I am for all that you've done for me and for the companions who've brought me along the way. This morning was so beautiful, filled with mist across the valley filled with fog in the air. A sweetness lies on everything that walks, everything that grows. It smells of spruce, of spring, of new life. Thank you for this beautiful world. Thank you for this faith, for these people. But today, I want to give thanks to someone specifically. Someone the gods have led me to through fate. Someone the gods have led me to out of necessity because I could not have done any of this without her. She's a friend in a land far away, but close to the land of the gods. I have a love for her that will spend a lifetime and respect for her that will last even longer. And I hope the lessons I teach, and I hope the lessons she's taught me, continue to last through generations to come. So today I give thanks for the meeting between us, especially for Frigg. And to you, Frigg, I thank you for the love that is between us. A love that spans distances, a connection soul. I couldn't have done this without her. The wisdom of Odin, this community, will not exist. At least not with the same amount of soul and passion and knowledge and understanding. For she taught me the runes. She taught me magic. She taught me sacredness. Things that need to be remembered when worshipping the old gods. And so ends my offerings. I hope they are worthy. Hail you, all mother. Hail you, free. Thank you for magic. And no matter what happens over the next few days, let the world never forget the sacredness of runes, the sacredness of magic. Let the world never forget the wisdom of Odin, that all of this was started by a boy in Kentucky who was taught by a witch from Russia. Hail you all, Mother. This is the beauty of our gods. This is the beauty of the spirits, the folk. This is why we believe what we believe. It's because of things like this. Because this, this is real magic. Sit with me a while and enjoy the sunrise over our beautiful world. And let us think of the gods. Let us remember our ancestors, honor our folk, and admire the spirits.